So I went and I bought a thing. A thing from my childhood. In high school, I didn't have a four-wheeler. I had a $300 1949 through maybe 52 Willys Utility Wagon. Bright red, painted with barn paint, that I bought from an old hippie in the woods. And I uh, used to go jeeping with uh, a good friend of ours, Uncle Scott. And uh, this, is, this is one of his rigs. And I got it because I needed basically like a farm tractor out at the rock pile. The truck is just full of all these delightfully awkward and weird <laughs> Jeep things. These huge shackles cut out of scrap metal. Door hinge, door hinges. You can't see it, but it's got a latch, right? That's an actual gate barrel latch. He said, one of them turns the ignition on and the other one turns on the starter. Doesn't know which. I'll have to try it. <laughs> Anyways. I got three spare front axles. No, air, no rear axles that we can track down yet. Spare transmission. A uh, spare transfer case. A bunch of spare tires and rims and stuff. So, it was just sitting at his place. Bed's still solid underneath of it. No tailgate. He can't find the fenders. At one point, he used this to do high-line logging. That is, he uh, chained it to a tree, put a drum on the rear fenders with a cable, and uh, he would winch trees up a hillside with it, uh, just putting it in low range. Just letting it chug. It truly is a, a fantastic old machine. Sitting on the trailer here. It looks like the frame might have been bent slightly. I just I just hosed it off. It's got a buffalo on one side and a trout on the other. 8,000 pound gross weight, yeah, yeah, right. The brakes work, the motor chugs, at least it will, once. Once I do a little tinkering. If you've never been around a Jeep before, it just there's just nothing to them. So, obviously he needs a <laughs> new new radiator hose. Um, he said he just did that to keep mice out of it. We don't know where the air cleaner went for it. We'll have to try to source a, an air cleaner somewhere. Same carb that I run in the yellow Jeep. Needs a tune-up and, you know, probably a remote oil filter or something. But... hood prop supposed to go. Yeah. I'm going to put a snow plow on it at some point. Drop the shackle length by by half. Just put my own on. A little less crazy. But it should work fine. There's the trout. Should work very nicely out there. It'll be the truck Shay learns to drive a stick in and if you've never had an opportunity to, to own and operate a, a vehicle like this where nothing matters and everything can be fixed with a rock, you're kind of missing out. You're kind of missing out. <laughs>